Hello, Tyler Parsons again with ParsonsGolfPerformance.com. Today we're in a different location in the Killen Golf Academy Bay and what I want to do is bring an exercise to you that is going to help out with those of you who struggle with an over the top or a slice or the people who want to possibly gain a little bit more yardage with efficiency of the swing. So what I'm talking about is how well you can disassociate and separate the lower body from the upper. So through years of evaluations, um, basically what I've noticed is a lot of you are not going to have a problem mainly getting the hips to stay still and rotate independently of the shoulders. Where you get in trouble is whenever we say, okay, hold the shoulders still, but allow those hips to move. A lot of you are going to sit there and as you're doing it, you see this motion to where they're almost glued together. Where this really shows up in a swing is once you're up to the top, they both fire. You can see my hands wanting to drift out. So the best case, you don't want to do that, and we're trying to bring this hand down. We're still going to get a little bit of a wipe. Um, we're not producing as much power as we can. So again, even if you have a good plane, the more that we can really get everything to power and go through, work that kinematic sequence to where these hips are pulling that torso, in turn pulling the hands, pulling that club head down, we're producing more speed, more power, and a more consistent shot. So they all start to work together. There's going to be two parts that we're going to look at here. One, it's are you mobile enough that you can actually get that to move? So what we'll do is you would grab a club, you could use a wall even if you're really tight, but get something that is going to allow you to turn the shoulders and then from there use that to hold you as you open up those hips. So I'm feeling a big stretch all up and down through here, in through the hips, down and through those obliques, even possibly up into the lats. That's going to help open that up, improve that mobility. Now the second key that again a lot of you will really struggle with is having the stability to learn what to brace and how to brace so those hips can in turn move on their own. Okay, So what we'll do here is we'll again use that club. As you get better we'll remove the club. But we want to go into that golf posture and just go on and turn. You're going to use that club to sort of brace and almost push against. So as my hips go back into the backswing and open up, I'm trying to get my shoulders to twist and go the other direction, vice versa, coming down. A way to make this a little bit better and change it up is to drop down to where we're pretty much parallel to the ground with that back and go on and really fire those hips open. You'll notice that the shoulders are almost going to be stuck and not be able to rotate as well since we're bracing out. This is going to be a great exercise though to help out that slice, allow you to load at the top and whip through coming down.